Daphne, well, it's a simple question. Is there or is there not an $11.7 billion hole in Labor's fiscal plan? National is adamant there is. Labor, along with a growing number of experts, says there isn't. Well, the man who made the claim, National Finance Spokesman Stephen Joyce, is here now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? OK, well, let's answer the question. Is there an $11.7 billion hole in Labor's fiscal plan? Yes, as they presented it. Now they're changing the story. Sorry? Yes, as they presented it. Now they're changing the story. No, leave out the as they presented it. No, no, because, right, this because is, the experts are agreed that the layout was not ideal. No, it was worse but than not, not ideal. I mean, they, they made some fundamental errors, and I, I, and I actually corrected those for them. And now they've changed their story and said they'll have zero budgets outside of education well, and health for the next two years. have they changed yes, their they story? Have. Yes, they have. Because actually, ask yourself, did they actually talk about prior to me making the comments I made on Monday, did they talk about the fact that they were going to have no money for uh, more police wages, no money for conservation, no money for science? Things are tight. Well, However, they, well they, they are the very, suddenly you need very to tight. Answer, the question you need to answer is, is there an $11.7 billion hole? Absolutely. As they presented their accounts, I found an right $11.7 billion hole. Right now, based on their policies and their change. fiscal plan... Is a... there an $11.7 billion hole? Yes, as they presented it. Now they've changed their story and they're saying, oh, no, we didn't mean that. Actually, we were going to have a much tighter thing. And then to be they're... honest, the presentation is by the by. Does the policy, no, le th does the policy leave an $11.7 billion hole? If you run their allowances as they said they were, absolutely yes. And that's the reality of it. And now they're saying, oh, no, we didn't mean that. We actually didn't mean to call them allowances. They weren't allowances. We meant to call them something else. And by the way, we'd have zero budgets for the next two years, which nobody believes. And Cameron Bagri, who's been quoted a bit in this, came out and said, uh, he actually said, these budgets now look very, very challenging indeed. Challenging I, you won't achieve them. tight, no. but not $11.7 well, billion billion dollars out. Well, he here's the deal. I have been involved around that budget table now for nine years. Uh, what they are proposing to do would be very tight and impossible for a national government, let alone a Labor government, which wants to spend a lot more money. So uh, that's just Tell not going to be... Tell me who agrees realistic. with you. Tell me an economic expert who agrees with you. Well, go and have a look at Patrick Smalley's piece in the uh, in the Dominion this morning. He says that it's uh, several billion dollars. He's not prepared to go all the way oh, to so my number yet. so it's not an 11.7. No, no, so not... no one agrees with the 11.7 no, billion not, no, dollar no. hole. Uh, look, Hillary, it's not a... Uh, the reality of it is they have been called on their budget which they presented, which they said was all correct, and now we're talking about how many billions they're in the hole. That's what we're talking about now. You stood up and That's said right. there's an $11.7 billion dollar right. hole, and even Patrick Smelly, who you've just quoted mm -hmm. to me, doesn't agree with $11.7 billion. Well, all I'm saying is as presented. But they've changed their story since then. <laughs> I've made the as announcement. As presented. No, okay, well, that's well, right. Let's run they, no, hang on, let's you know better yeah. than Bill economist Ganesh Nana. Well, uh, excuse me, Ganesh Nana... Lovely chap that he oh, is. Oh, sorry, PhD in economics. Yeah, well, OK. He's a, he's a lovely chap, and he was paid for Labor to put the numbers together. So he's not going to argue with the Labor Party. OK, That's so different. he's put his reputation yeah, on the line yeah. professionally, but you disagree with him. New Zealand Initiative Research Fellow Sam Warburton. Yep, uh, I, I, they've got the numbers around okay, the wrong way. OK, he's got yep. that wrong. Yeah. Economist yeah. Shamabil Jakob. Well, shamabil has got certain... Views oh, OK, that. right, so he's got it... Well, the ones too. that have lined up on their side, are more or less, aside from one or two, like Cameron, who's actually on the middle... These the, are professionals. Well, and everybody has a view, but all of us also... What they're actually saying, Hillary, is they're saying that, yep, they can make it to add. What they can't make it do is actually make sense. And the trouble with this is, and this is where it gets important, so we could debate the process all the way through and you can tell me that there's an opinion poll of whatever, but look, the reality of it is that these numbers don't add up. And what it really means for New Zealanders, is against just me and Robertson having an argument, what it means for New Zealanders is it means a lot more debt at exactly the wrong time of the economic cycle. But that's what's important. here's the thing. It's not an $11.7 billion you know, hole. Is. And you need to admit that's not the case. No, it is. And I'm not going to admit that because they've now changed their story, they're going to try and make it fit another Nobody's way. Nobody's changed they their have. story. Oh, they'll, 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 I'm and sorry, they have. So many experts have said, they OK, you were day. looking at one line they, out of their reporting. One line no, out of their reporting and you weren't taking the whole no, thing into account. No, that's not true. Account. That's not true. I looked at the whole thing in depth and I had people in my office and others look at it in depth. We're confident of the numbers as presented. They are now changing the story and saying they will have no extra spending for police salaries, no extra spending for DOC, no extra spending for science. Now, you ask yourself, when did they say that before last Monday? The answer is it's is all coming out. Is that worth $11.7 billion, though? As, as, as presented, yes. Claimed. Absolutely. It was worth, if, if they billion. were running their allowances as they were prior to Monday, they had an $11.7 billion hole. Now they are backfilling 
and trying to tell New Zealanders that no, that's not what they intended and I'm wrong. But actually, the economists can only look at what they're saying and they've changed their story and the economists are saying, well, OK, gosh, that's tight. And of course it's tight because it's ridiculously tight. So these are, this is a serious not issue for one New Zealanders. one economic expert agrees with you. Well, all I'm saying, well, that's not a, it's, with the greatest not respect, it's not an opinion. One. Hang on, Hillary. It's really important. It's important to get this right because we're talking about the next threat. New Zealanders have worked very, very hard to get this country back into surplus and they are and already saying... this is saying the key message you're trying to get across. No, no, You've tried no, to do this key, to listen, undermine no, Labor's this, economic credibility and I don't the have process, to undermine it. You've undermined under, your own. No, they've undermined... No, frankly, that's not correct. They've undermined it for me. As I say, I'll put my credibility up against them and anybody else at any you time. Have. In terms of, in terms Corin of, Corin Dan's called it an own goal. Well, You've yeah, put I, your I just completely on the disagree line. with Corin. He just doesn't want to listen to what actually was there. So I disagree with him. But look, the key thing is this: Is there going to be a lot more debt under a Labor government if they have one? And the answer is yes, a huge amount, multi-billion dollars more. Eleven point seven billion yes, dollars more. Yes, I would say exactly that. You if would you, say you, that, you, but nobody else well, does. Well, Patrick Smalley said this morning, if they were like another Labor government, then actually my eleven point seven looks conservative. Okay, can I just come in here? I've got Patrick Smalley's article open. Yep. He says Labor's numbers are nothing like as compromised or wrong as Joyce claimed. Well, read he the says, rest of it, though. Let's read it all. Jo Joyce was wrong. No, that's you're a, not. That's a, that's a direct quote. No. Joyce was wrong. You just said, when Hillary asked you about the $11.7 billion, you said that was the number that Patrick on, Smalley uh, was hang standing on, Jack, by. You have to, you're going to do that. Patrick yep. Smalley says, I'll be honest, he says it will be difficult to, for Labor to stick to and the spending And he also plan. says the size but, of their no, whole... No, 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 $11.7 billion. He says Labor's not, numbers are nothing like as compromised or wrong as Joyce Well, claimed. OK, but he says 5 to $6 billion, and he also says in that article, which you've got to be fair, you can't just take out a sentence, he says, if... Robertson. He was fair to both, actually. He said if Robertson really, really was like no other Labor government before, and I'm paraphrasing, then they might be able to get it down to zero. He said, but actually, ah. if, if they were like any other Labor government before them, th then my numbers wouldn't be enough. And that's what we're debating, is how much debt a Labor government would create... But that's until... hypothetical. No, it was, it, the whole thing is hypothetical. The, the whole no, thing is we hypothetical. Are, no, but we're talking about the fiscal plan that they put out eh. that you say is $11.7 billion... Out. And that's exactly right on the basis that they said these were our operating allowances. They're now saying, oh, well, sorry, we didn't mean that. We didn't mean they were our operating allowances. They also changed their All numbers I'm on the day. All I'm saying is it's extraordinary that not one economic expert agrees with On them. the basis that they have now changed their story and they're saying, yep, OK, we could make this work as Labor says now, but the problem with it is is that it's actually not achievable. And right, so I take saying. it you're not going to apologise? Absolutely not. Backtrack? No, absolutely not. I'm absolutely serious about it. A Labor government, if it came in, would increase New Zealand's debt beyond what it should be at this stage of the cycle. And that means higher mortgage rates for every New Zealand. By $11.7 billion. Well, the debt would actually go up, if we get into the debate, the debt would go up oh, by even $20 billion. Well, no, the, 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 they've already admitted <laughs> that their debt will go up $8 billion. So now we're saying 20 billion. So that's it, Hillary. Stephen Joyce, yes. thanks for your time this morning.